The man, the boy, and the donkey. A man, his son, and their donkey were going to the market. On the way, a man passed them. Fools, he said. You walk beside the donkey, but donkeys are for riding. The father felt embarrassed, so he put his son on the donkey. Soon they passed a group of men. One of them said, "See that lazy boy? He lets his father walk while he rides." Again, the father felt embarrassed, so he rode the donkey and his son walked. Later, they passed three women. "What a bad father," said one woman. He makes his son walk while he rides. Again, the father felt embarrassed. He pulled his son up on the donkey. They rode together. Finally, they reached the town, but people there pointed at them. They said mean things. The father stopped and asked them why. Don't you feel at all bad? Said one man, "The two of you are too heavy for that poor donkey." Again, the father felt embarrassed. The man and his son cut down a long pole. They tied the donkey's feet to it. Then they raised the pole to their shoulders. They carried the donkey. They continued to walk. After a while, they got to a bridge. As they walked over the bridge, one of the donkey's feet came loose. The donkey kicked its leg out, and the boy dropped his end of the pole. Oops! The donkey fell over the bridge. It could not get free of the ropes. The donkey could not swim, and so it drowned. That will teach you," said an old man who was following them. "Try to please everyone, and you will please no one." Androcles and the Lion. Once there was a slave named Androcles. He was a good man, but he had an unkind master. Androcles escaped from his master and ran into the forest. There he met a lion. At first he was scared and ran, but the lion didn't run after him. It did not roar. Androcles was surprised, so he went back to the lion. He found that the lion was hurt; there was a thorn in its paw. Androcles pulled out the thorn and cared for the lion. When the lion's paw was better, the lion took Androcles to its cave. Every day, it brought the kind man meat to eat. Weeks later, the lion was caught. It was brought to the emperor. The lion was kept without food for many days. It was very hungry. Then it was led out into a big arena. There, in the middle, was a slave. The emperor thought that the lion would kill the slave. The hungry lion roared. It angrily ran toward the slave, but as the lion got close, it recognized its friend. The lion jumped on Androcles and licked him like a happy dog. Everyone watching was surprised, even the emperor. Androcles told them the story, and the emperor set them both free. He said, 
Bravery and kindness are signs of a good soul.